What is up guys, this is Sets Modern Warfare here, Gamer Tab Manager Chicken, and welcome back to another hardware tutorial episode. So in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be swapping out the white LED on the Xbox One console, the actual power LED on the console. We're going to change that out for a green LED, kind of go back to the Xbox's roots, the original green, so I'm going to swap that out with a green LED. And um, yeah, you can swap it out with any other colour that you want. You're going to need solder, you're going to need a soldering iron of some kind. Flux is preferred, but it's not essential. And yeah, you're going to have to have the console opened up to the point that I have it opened up to here. I've got a separate video for that. I'll probably link it in the top right hand corner of the screen for you guys. Um, if you want to watch that video, it shows you how to open up the console to this, this stage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to take out this RF board in the front where the LED is that we can uh, solder on our new LED. So you want to get a Torx screwdriver, a small a small enough flathead that can fit in and get a grip and take the screws out would do as well. You should really be using a Torx screwdriver. And there's three screws here, so I'm going to take out that one there, this one here, and this one in the corner here. And I'll get back to you and we will take the RF board out. So when you've got the screws out, you want to definitely take the metal casing out of the plastic one that it's sitting inside. And then we should be able to pull it out from this end here, because this is where the plug is. So we're just going to pull it out there. And that's us. We've got our RF board out ready to work on. So we'll move the console away. And there's our LED. We're just going to swap that out with a, an 0603. Okay, just because I have them, I'm going to be using 0603 LEDs. Um, the LED on the actual RF board, the white one to begin with, is bigger than an 0603. It's probably a 1206, possibly a 0805 LED. So it's up to you. You can use a 1206 uh, um, 0603 or a 0805 LED possibly um, if you want it's up to you I personally just use 0603 even though they're small they do produce a lot of light and they can also be used on the Xbox One controller so you know it's it's good that you can use 0603s to do both um, and they can also be if you have a 360 they can also be used for the 360 controller and 360 console lights as well okay so what I'm going to do is just get some tape and slap that down like that. It's just to hold it in place. I don't have a clamp or anything like that. That would be the ideal solution, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use some tape. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some flux to the, uh, to the LED. Hopefully make it a little bit easier to take it off. Alright guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to apply some solder to the iron and you want to apply a decent amount, so quite a lot, get a nice blob going on the iron itself and then you want to apply that to the side of the LED and just kind of rub up and down. You're wanting to try and melt both sides at the same time because what that's going to do is it's going to allow the LED to lift off. Oh, the ball just came flying off there, that didn't work. Well guys, so far I'm not having any luck, so what I'm going to do, surprised actually, this is normally quite a simple process, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and apply some solder to the actual, to the actual LEDs on both sides to kind of get a, get a blob on each side. Doesn't really want to take as well to this uh, oh, there we go, it's taking now. There we go. So I've kind of created a blob on each side. I'm hoping that that will help it to lift the LED off. I'm going to put some more flux on to just going to clart it with a lot of flux. And don't worry about overusing flux and stuff like that because we can easily clean that off later. Especially if you have rubbing alcohol is the best for removing flux, in my opinion. Uh, OK, 
Okay, let's try one more time. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to use a bigger iron because uh, this small soldering tip could be causing the the issue. Okay, here we go. There we go, at last. Bloody hell, that took its time. Alright, so we got it off. Not the most... Not the cleanest uh, job. Right, so that wasn't the cleanest job in the world, but we got the LED off and uh, left a big blob of solder on here, so I'm gonna have to get that off. To get rid of this big blob, I might be able to just carry it off on the iron, actually. Not really. Okay, well, I'm gonna use some desolder breed to get rid of this. All right, guys, so there we go. We've got our two contact points. Uh, that's that sorted, so all I've gotta do now is grab our new LEDs that we're going to be putting on. Now these LEDs, like I said, I'm using 0603, which are a lot smaller than the original LED that was on there to begin with. Okay, so we've got some LEDs here. Just peel back that one. And we've got the LED on. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to flip it over to this side, I'm not sure if you'll be able to to see it, but on the back of the LED there is a little T, green T, um, which basically marks the positive and negative points. So there'll be an image up on screen right now uh, which shows you there's three different types that can sometimes be like an arrow um, or like a triangle or something like that. Um, in my case, my LED's got like a little green T at the back and that marks positive and negative. So the, um, you want to match up the positive with the little marker that's actually on the RF board. So I'm just going to line up the T so that the positive side is in the correct position. I'm going to grab my iron. The trick with doing these small LEDs is to hold the LED in place with like a pair of tweezers. So for the first point, that's what you're going to want to do. I'm just going to hold it in place here, touch it with the iron. That's going to attach the LED like so and then just come around to the other side and melt the solder on the other side and that will attach that to the the other point. I might use a bit more solder actually because I'm not sure if that's making contact because this LED is so small it doesn't go the full width of the two contact points. So I'm going to heat this up a bit, add some more solder just so I know for sure that, that is making contact. And that will do. So now what we're going to do is going to clean this up with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to clean up the flux with nothing right now, just a little Q-tip to uh, get rid of the main, or to get rid of most of the flux that's just lying about on the board. And then I'm going to grab some rubbing alcohol. Uh, this is 99% pure rubbing alcohol, but you can use 70% rubbing alcohol or whatever will do fine as well, I think. So, just going to use the rubbing alcohol to clean that point up completely. There's no more flux on there. And it doesn't look like a complete mess. Alright, so that's it. So now what we've got to do, plug the RF board back into the console, power it up and see uh, if we're going to get a, a power light showing up or green light and uh, yeah we'll see if it works. Okay guys here we go it's pretty sunny as you can see so you're not really going to uh, see this too well but I'll probably come back and put it all back together um, but just to test it what you're going to want to do first of all is obviously plug the RF board back into the console. You want to put this top plate back on 
um, but you don't want to necessarily screw anything down. Um, what I've done is I've put everything back together without the screws just so that I can reattach the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth chip and the speaker that makes the sounds for when the, the console turns on and ejects and stuff like that. And there's no faceplate on at the moment, but you, you can use your controller to turn the console on to test the LED. So I'm gonna turn the controller on and that will subsequently turn the console on. There we go. And you can see that the green LED has well and truly worked. You can see it's okay. The, ca <laughs> the exposure on the camera makes LEDs look a bit screwed up. Maybe that's a better angle. But you can see it's on there, the green LED is working. The sun is really making it hard to uh, see. Maybe you can see that better there. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll put the console back together and I'll wait until it gets a bit darker and I'll be able to show you what it, the finished result looks like. Okay guys, here we go, the finished result. So I'll power it on and we should see our little green LED showing up there. And I just think this looks a lot better than the white LED. Brings the Xbox back to its uh, its original form, shall we say. Or original green LED. And yeah, I just think it looks a lot better. The camera does not show it as well as it actually looks, unfortunately. Due to the exposure or something like that, I don't know. It appears a bit um, too bright and not as green as it actually appears in real life. Which is a bit of a shame, I couldn't get a proper representation of what it actually looks like but still hopefully you can tell that it looks a lot better now I'll go ahead and I'll turn the lights off as well so we can also hopefully get a good maybe make it look a bit better with the lights off and there we are with the lights off guys you can see the power LED there looking pretty damn awesome okay so that's it guys that is how you swap out the LED on a Xbox one console so if you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like. I really do appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.